Hello friends, welcome back to the new video of Magenta 2. So today we are going to learn how to add the Wizik editor. You can see CK editor, you can say or Wizik editor like what we have already in the Magento, like description type or something like this in the Magento 2 system configuration files. So I haven't uploaded such kind of things in the Magento, right? So today we are going to learn how to do that. Okay. <coughs> okay. Those who haven't subscribed my channel, please do subscribe my channel. Okay. Else I will make it all the videos on subscription basis okay so those who haven't subscribed my channel please do subscribe my channel and please do like this video and uh, already uh, most of the persons are saying that the, i need to upload the hindi video on that so i will check it out how to uh, on the meantime i will decide how to uh, change from this part okay so let's get started without wasting our time okay so let's create the extension so we have add visit editor in the system configurations so create system.xml first of all so admin html we have to go with the etc admin html so we have project app uh, code then we have rajnikan we are going to use customer etc we are going to create a new folder that is called admin html and we have a system.xml over here so we are going to add it Create new uh, new open terminal. Touch okay. Shift to system dot xml. Now let's open it and paste this full line of code. So I will explain you what exactly we have done later on. Let me paste this code full one. Okay, so here we have the, added the visit editor and this is the front end model where we have the visit editor and the fields. Okay. So this is the basic the tab section and this is the field section that we are adding. Moving to the next part, uh, we have to create a uh, block. So go to the block. So where we have the block, customer tab, we need to create block. Block we have, block in block we have admin HTML. Create a new folder admin HTML. Admin HTML we have to create system. Okay, create new folder system. Then we have to create config need to create folder config then we need to create a form folder form then we have to create a field right so we have to create a field one here in the field we have to create a basic editor.php this is the class that we are we have to use so open terminal and toch dot php okay so I'm, this file is created. Let's open it and add the code over here. So let's see that. Okay, so this is the class that we are going to use. There is a PHP file. Sick editor, paste it. Okay, so this is the that we have added okay and this is uh if you want like if you want to add the variables add the widgets add images so we need to uncomment this line to add such kind of things okay we will see that okay so first of all this is part this part is done moving to the last part that we have to create a layout file in the admin html so let's go to the admin html so where we are going with the admin html app uh, code Vishnikan customer view here we need to create a new folder admin html and here we need to create the layout files layout folder layout in the layout we have to go with the admin html dot system this full file so i'm going to copy this and open this one to update the layouts okay so let's see this open terminal touch this file is created let's add the bait handle part over here edit part of this save this okay so this we have created the module let's go to the terminal and run the commands so let's add the command of compile So we have added the compile command. So 
अपग्रेड now we have to run the system deployment content deployment and now the last one is the permissions enter done everything let's see in the system configuration go to the let's reload this first where to go stores configuration and you can see that we have created the config group right and here you can show and hide this group so you can see that we have fully successfully add this configuration file to that part right so whether you can add anything over here and you can update the things okay so we have a safe config also it i save over here in the disk section right you can get the section of like this also okay so any query any issue in that just let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day